Hey everybody, good morning and welcome back to another amazing day of learning together with all of you. Before we get started with all of our activities today, I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you for tuning in most importantly, but also I wanted to talk about the fact that when we're at home and we're not able to get out and do what we typically do, we feel like we're constrained. But I want you to think about all of the stuff that we've been able to do here in our homes together, learning together, because our world really is filled with some amazing stuff. And what we're doing here in the show is really to inspire all of you to continue learning beyond the 30 minutes that we share together here each and every day. And the things that are simple around us that we don't think about, like soap for instance, can really turn into a magnificent lesson. And that's really what this is all about. My job is to give you guys a really small taste of the experiment and then I challenge all of you to go home or you're at home to extend your learning in your home on your own with your family. And when we do those things together, it allows me to show you something but allows you to extend it and really take it to another level. And that's what science and learning is all about. It's really figuring out and uh, feeding our curiosity because when we do that, uh, we realize that the world is filled with really, really cool stuff. And so today and the rest of the week, we have tons of really cool experiments lined up. Um, most of them are things that you can try at home. You can watch the video again. There are going to be a couple of things that we're going to ask you not to do, and I'll let you know those things not to try uh, strictly because <laughs> they include things like fire. And so we'll get to that later today as well. So if you're just tuning in for the first time, my name is Mr. C. I'm an educator here from Dayton, Ohio. I've been an educator for 18 years. And for the last three years, I've traveled to different parts of the state and different parts of the country doing hair raising science. So I do live shows at theaters and I do lots of presentations at schools and, and community organizations. So we have so much fun when we get to learn together. And so we wanted to bring that to you. So without further ado, Let's get started. We have water in front of me. Yep, just water from the tap. And what I wanted to say is that I've been washing my hands a lot lately. Every time I go and touch something, you know, we're always washing our hands to get rid of germs and to keep ourselves safe and healthy. And I was going through some of my science materials here at the house and I realized I don't even have to dig for anything because it's right here at the kitchen sink. Soap. Soap. And yes, I have mine in like a ketchup squirt bottle because I use a lot of soap. So this is to ration things out. But the water in front of me, if I want, oh, that's a bad example. That had soap on it. The water in front of me doesn't allow me to make bubbles. And I want to make bubbles. And I've noticed that when I've been washing my hands, I get a really good lather and I get bubbles all over my hands. And with that lather, I've been able to blow bubbles just like that. And we're going to do some of those things today. But how do you make a bubble using water that doesn't want to stay in the shape of a bubble? We add a little bit of soap. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create our own soap solution. So if you have never made your own soap solution, it's pretty easy. Um, what you're going to do, and I've already made a batch right here. So we're going to use this, but I'm going to talk to you about what it is and we'll make sure that we have our soap solution um, recipe in the description after our show today. But what you do is you take six cups of water. Now, if you have it at your house, distilled water makes the bubbles better. But if you don't, I use regular tap water and I think it's been working pretty well. I made this about 14 hours ago so that it was able to sit and get really, really, really really perfect for you guys today and I hope it works. But you're going to use six cups of water. You're going to get some dish soap. I have the generic members mark which is the uh, Sam's Club version and you're going to use one full cup of dish soap. Now if you have it, I have some glycerin. Now that allows it to thicken it up and it allows our bubbles to be a little bit stronger. But if you don't have glycerin, it should still work. Um, I've also read online that corn syrup is an alternative to glycerin, but the, the reason I didn't want to use corn syrup is because it would make it even stickier than it already feels. And cleaning that up off the table and things, 
do it outside if you're gonna use corn syrup that would be my recommendation so six cups of water one cup of soap and then a tablespoon of glycerin if you're using corn syrup I believe I read it was a quarter cup um, so you might want to play with that as well but once I add this all together and let it sit I let this sit for about 14 hours and made it yesterday now I can take my straw and make a balloon balloon <laughs> A bubble. If it's a balloon, that's a whole different experiment. Hold on. Nice. All right, so with this little simple straw, which a lot of you probably have at home, you can make your own little bubbles. Now, I also happen to have some pipe cleaners. Um, we are a crafty family. We love to do crafts. So I'm going to use like a three clover shamrock. Let's try it. And if you, if you notice, the bubbles always turn into a sphere. Did you notice that? Hold on. Oh, I got one stuck. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's awesome. And it's still bouncing on the table. So they turn into spheres, right? And so let's talk about really what a bubble is. Let me see if I can get one. Get one to hang on the back end of this. So the bubbles turn into spheres, and what happens is when we add soap to the water, it decreases the surface tension of the water. So it allows the water to act more like an elastic rubber band. It allows it to stretch a little bit more. And the soap, in fact, if you've ever noticed, and I've been, I'm having a hard time getting a good bubble, but we'll lay one right here in a second. We'll try it on this cloth. If you've ever noticed the colors of a bubble, they're like iridescent. They're beautiful, right? You see all the different colors of the rainbow inside of there. And what's happening is you have light bouncing onto the soap through the water to the other layer of soap. And what happens is, uh, let's see here, we'll just use my hands. The soap acts as a top layer and acts as a bottom layer. And inside of that, we have the water molecules that are now stretching out and expanding. And that's what allows a bubble to form. And inside of our bubble, we've been talking about it a lot here lately, we have air, air. So the air molecules want to push outwards, right? Because they want to spread out. And then around the bubble, there's air pressure pushing onto the bubble. So the bubbles typically, well, all the bubbles I've seen that formed turn into spheres. And that's because of air pressure and the way those bubbles want to form. Now, what I want you guys to try at home when you make this, and we'll do it here too. Looks like the little dipper on this, doesn't it? <laughs> all right I've got it looks like a rectangle I try to make a square but it looks more rectangular oh it fell out there we go let's try it again even coming out of the rectangle after it forms we get ourselves a square Ugh, it splattered in my face don't eat the bubbles don't eat the bubbles Oh, we got one. All right, so I don't blow this hard. Now, you could go outside, and I bet I could, like, kind of, like, wave it like that. I don't know if I can get enough. Nope. <laughs> I'm trying to get it. Ah, all right. It might, it might be too big. So here I have a four-leaf clover. Clover. Can't talk today. That Jackie made for me yesterday. I'm going to try this. So I'm trying all these different shapes. Not sure what they're going to do. That one didn't work too well. <laughs> that didn't work well at all. All right. We're going to try this one. Those are working pretty well. So. Nice. Oh, can you see the color? Can you see any of the color? Probably not. But what I wanted to try, if I, oh, see, when I try to catch it, it pops. So what I'm going to try is I'm going to try to make a bubble right here. I have like a little mini microfiber cloth and I'm going to try to see if this, yeah, they'll hold on there. Maybe. 
So the grease in your hand. Nope. Oh, the grease in your hand pops the bubble. This isn't working too well either. What's going on? I know what we're gonna try. We're just gonna get messy with it. I'm gonna take a little bit of my soap water and put it onto my table. And what I'm doing is I'm putting a little soap so that our bubble doesn't wanna pop. All right, that's awesome. That's awesome. And now what I'm gonna to try to do is put a bubble inside of my bubble. This is like half a sphere, can you see that? It's not quite a sphere, but it wants to form a sphere. Here we go. Oh, oh. all right. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a countdown after I get the first one. All right, we got one. I need a countdown, everybody, in three, two, one. We got two. Let's see if we get a third. All right, we've got two. Come on. I'm wondering if I'm taking too long. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. So it's letting me do more and more bubbles. Here we go, you ready? We're gonna do this one more time. I want you guys to make some solution to make a mess at home. I mean, explore science at home with your family. This is actually clean. And actually it's very, very clean. You get your hands washed, my hands already feel super clean. You can go outside and make bubbles. I just can't get more than three. Sounds like a challenge. It is a challenge. I'm challenging all of you to see if you can get more than three. Oh, look at that. I want to see if you guys can get more than three in our little bubble domes. But I know what you're thinking. Mr. C, what are these things? These are geometric shapes. And if you're looking at them, you're going to say they are, well, they kind of look like cubes. So we have our cubes, and a cube has how many faces? How many sides does it have? Think of a die. Like when you roll dice, we have one, well, that's not going to really work. One, two, three, four, five, and six for the bottom. So we have six sides, and you can do all sorts of really cool geometry stuff with this, and I wanted to build one of these and I have directions to build these on my website and I will add a link to our post right after we're done streaming and we get a few things picked up to show you how to build one of these cubes because they're really easy. All you need is six pipe cleaners and you need six straws and you're set ready to roll and you can explore geometric bubbles at your house. Now the reason I have two, if I'm being honest, is yesterday I was building one of these and I built it too big for my big bowl. So I had to rebuild another one so that I could use it inside of this beaker. All right, and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna dip this into the beaker and then you're gonna see all of the soap water cling to the sides. I'm gonna give it a little flip. Just like this, Let's see if it works. I didn't have to flick it. So can you can you see that right there? Can you see that square? I think so, yeah. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna do it again. All right, so I've got a little square right there, you see it? Yeah. So that square right there, right now, I'm gonna set this here. I've gotta set this down just for a second. I'm gonna take another straw, so once you get your cube all soapied up. You're gonna bring I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. 
And there we have, oh, we're gonna do it again. So it eventually breaks. Oh, I love making square bubbles. My question is, it's not technically a square. Oh, come on. Well, we had a friend, Lucy, say hi, and she thinks the bubble thing is annoying. All right, Lucy, this is for you. I'm gonna do it again. Oh, darn it. We're gonna try one more time. See, I wish, I wish, Mr. C. All right, so I've got it. You shake it and you get that square. And there it is. It is absolutely beautiful. It is so cool, it's so cool. So my question is, is what if you make like a uh, pyramid? What if you make other geometric shapes, a rectangular prism, um, all sorts of different things. Would it, what, ooh, did you see a pop? Look at it. And it gets stuck to the side, so it's gonna wanna keep doing that. What I think we might do is later after this, we'll make some bigger bubbles uh, with this. But I have to make, I have to find a bigger bowl and then make more solution. But this is something you can do so easily at home with six, Pipe cleaners, six straws, and look, it's just dripping. It's just soap water. It's not too bad. Somebody's asking why there's a square form in the middle. Ooh, okay. So the square forms, I'm a, can you see it right there, Heather? On the camera? Um, right here? Oh, that's not going to work. Can you just move back a little closer to the beaker? Like put it here? Yeah. I can All right. Uh, zoom in a little. So I'm going to dip it in again. So the square... There he is. So right there, what happens is you have the tension. The soap, it was making, okay, hold on. Here we go. So this wall, this face had a soap, soapy film. They all had soapy films. And when I kind of shake them, they flop into the middle. And when they flop into the middle, they grab and they make that square. So we have a, a plane, a flat square right there. And then what I'm doing is I am making inside of it, I'm dropping another bubble. And the bubble wants to be a sphere, but because the way the soap is hanging and connecting, it grabs onto it and latches on and makes, it, makes what looks like a cube. It's not a perfect cube, but it's pretty close. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. I just love it. It's mesmerizing, and the colors, I don't know if you can see the colors on the camera, but just all of the soap and all of the beautiful reflection from the lights here in the room. Let's see if we can do it one more time. It's actually working really well today. It's just awesome. I just love it. Yeah, bubble, bubble solution fun. I mean, square bubbles, who would think, right? Because we know they always want to be a circle. Sphere. Oh! I almost popped it. Oh no! I'm popping the bubbles. All right. Look at this one's like hanging in there really tough. I made a circle. Sphere. All right. I am making a huge mess right here. I don't know if you can see it, but my table is just covered. Let me just wipe. I got one. I grabbed one. <laughs> You're going to throw it at me. All right. So the soapy solution, oh, this is gonna be a really clean part of my table. Wicka, wicka, wicka. All right, anyway. So another really cool thing to do is if you have an empty 20 ounce bottle, get a 20 ounce bottle or a water bottle and then cut off the bottom, all right? And then what you do while your mom or your dad are sleeping, or in my case, when my wife was sleeping, you grab a pair of her socks. She has smaller feet than I do, so I had to grab a pair of socks. There we go. And then you just pull the sock over, and I'm just going to kind of hold it, okay? So what I've done is, if you've ever worn a pair of socks, or you stretch a pair of socks open, you can, everybody hopefully has worn socks out there. But if you haven't, I'm going to tell you how it works. So you have all these fibers that are connected and they're woven together, right? 
but in between those fibers, you have teeny tiny, teeny tiny little holes. And I can prove that to you because we can push air through the sock. All right, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna blow air through the bottle, through the sock, and out of the bottom of the hole right here. But what we're gonna do first, we're gonna dump this in here. And then you just carefully <laughs> snake bubbles. Look at that. That is so cool. That is so cool. Thousands of teeny tiny little bubbles because all of the air that I'm pushing through my sock is now coming out. Let's make some more space to make more snake bubbles. And they look like little snake eggs, don't they? Look at this. Got thousands of little eggs, snake eggs, soap, soap snake eggs. Here we go. I'm gonna take a real deep breath. I'm gonna see how long I can go. In three, two, one. <laughs> I couldn't go any longer. That's so awesome, isn't it? So I, I just wonder like different fabrics like uh, co cotton poly, like um, what is it, polyester socks or like cotton socks, like do they behave differently? Wool socks. Wool socks. Clean socks. Who are these snake bubbles dedicated to? Dirty socks. These snake bubbles? are dedicated to one of my little science friends. I think it's her birthday today, right? I think so. Little Miss Riley, if you're out there watching, holla, happy birthday. This is a huge shout out to you. Look at all the bubbles I'm making for you on your birthday. Keeps going. Soon we're not gonna be able to even see Mr. C. All right, look at that. Oh, <gasps> static, 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 static. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. That's so cool. I've never had snake bubbles. I'm a snake charmer. It's the birthday snake bubbles. Happy birthday, get in trouble. All right, so we've got, we did regular bubbles with straws. We did bubbles with pipe cleaners. We made a cube bubble. We made snake bubbles. We made bubbles on the table. I think it leaves us with one type of bubble fire bubbles. This next experiment is something that you should not try at home. Mr. C is going to do this. I want you to watch. I want you to enjoy. But it's not something you should try at home. And what we're going to do, move those. Can you still see all that? I love it. I just love them. All right, I'm gonna move this out of the way and I'm gonna bring in a new set of equipment. So I'm really, really, really excited about showing you guys this. But most importantly, I wanna say science safety is really important. This is not something you should be doing at home. Parents, don't do this at home either. If you would like it, watch it over and over and over again, share it with friends and family. But what I have here is our, our regular bowl of water. Oh, my hands are so like soapy. I need to really just rinse them off. Here, throw me that one. Merci. No, no, that's just to dry my hands off a little bit. Ugh. All right, here we go. So, um, let's see here. I'm gonna sh I've got a couple things I want to show you first. So, we were talking about some different things, and I'm going to take a little bit of my soap water. I'm going to pour it in. I'm going to grab my straw. I'm going to grab a new straw because I got soap on that, the mouth of that straw. So I added some soap to my water. Now, I don't know if you've ever done this before, but when I go to restaurants, 
I have a bad habit of blowing into my drink because it forms bubbles. Now, that's pretty. Here's the thing. I breathed out and I made bubbles using my breath. And the question I have for you is, if I put flame to those bubbles, are they, are they gonna do anything? Let's see. Nope, they just pop them. The heat pops our bubble. But really nothing is happening. And that's because it's CO2 inside of that. CO2 isn't flammable, all right? So I can get rid of that and I can move it over. But what we're gonna try is the same way I made bubbles there, I'm gonna use a gas that is flammable. And I'm going to make another solution over here, a little bit bigger. Add a little bit more soap. All right. Look, I'm forming bubbles just from mixing it up and agitating the water. All right, and then I'm gonna take some gas and I'm gonna put it in here. <laughs> Mrs. C is shaking her head at me. All right, so those soap bubbles are different than the bubbles I just made with my breath. These actually have gas inside of it. All right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna insulate them, put some water on it. I'm gonna grab some of these bubbles and I'm gonna wipe off the bottom here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I need a countdown and I want you to say three, two, one. <laughs> Boys and girls, that's not something you do at home, but if you would like, I will do it again, all right? So, we have bubbles that want to be, that are filled with a gas, right? Our breath is a gas that makes that sphere when we blow it out. And we have a flammable gas here to make more bubbles. Put my water in, my hand in the water. Are we supposed to do this at home, boys and girls? No. Parents, are you supposed to do this at home? No. All right, here we go. And we'll talk about what I'm doing with my hand here afterwards. Move that over out of the way. And can I get a countdown in three, two, one? So on that note, I want to say you guys have been awesome. I hope you enjoyed our little activity today. I hope that you go where well, you are at home, but I hope you go to the kitchen, grab some soap, grab some water, uh, scrub a dub dub. Also, after you wash your hands, um, play with the bubbles that you create. Oh, I want to try something. I didn't. I got one more. Oh, it's going right down my arm. Look at that bubble though. Can you see it? All right, let's try it again. Oh, it's sticking to my hand. All right, hold on. This is how we're gonna end our show today. Ah, my other hand's working better. My, I don't know what's going on. I think, That was a big one, wasn't it? I couldn't see it because my hand is in the way. <laughs> oh, I caught it. You guys have been awesome. Oh, I got one more I want to try. I don't know if that'll work. Ooh. Oh. Do you see how it's sticking to my hand? It's because it's grabbing on and it's staying there. All right, here we go. We're gonna try one more.
Ah, one more. I gotta try one more time. Look at my hands. I'm just, I'm just covered. It's all over my face. Oh well. You guys have been fantastic. I'm gonna encourage you to go to the kitchen. Oh, that was awesome. We're going to stop on that note because that equals success. Make some bubbles, share your photos, have fun exploring. If you learned something new about bubbles, share with us in our comments here with this post. We love to hear and see what you guys are doing at home. You guys have been fantastic. Thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful day and to more Bubbleology. Oh, don't forget tomorrow. We're going to be going over Mr. C's favorite April Fool's pranks so you can see them and then maybe you can actually use some of them on April Fool's to trick a family member. Have a great day, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye.